Hi everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training bringing you another everyday office video and in today's video I want to discuss how custom lists play together with sorting. If you didn't see my video yesterday about how to create a custom list, go ahead and click the link that's over on the side right now. But the basic premise here is that Excel has to hold on to lists of information like the months of the year or the days of the week so that it can use those things over and over and over again. And in yesterday's video, I showed you how you could use that to autofill entries. Like for example, if I were to type in the month of January, then autofilling January down would give you the rest of the months. But here, we actually want to use it for sorting. As you can see, I've got a column here, the E column, that has the months in it that these orders are being made in. And it makes sense that I would want to put all the Januaries together, all the Aprils together, etc. Now if I click on the E column here, let's say cell E9, and I go to my Sort and Filter drop-down menu, and I sort this A to Z, what you're going to find is something kind of disappointing. Uh, Excel, by default, when you sort by months or when you sort by days of the week, it sorts those things in alphabetical order. It does not automatically detect that months are months in this particular instance. So here's how we solve for this problem. Instead of going to the simple options for sort A to Z or Z to A over here on the sort and filter drop down menu, we go to custom sort. Or alternatively, if you go to the data tab up here at the top of the screen, you'll see the A to Z and Z to A buttons sitting next to a large sort button and that is our custom sort feature. So you simply click on sort and right now it says, okay, we're trying to sort by month and it's definitely the values that are in those cells that, that's going to dictate how the ordering works, but A to Z is not the right order. So over here under order, we choose not A to Z, not Z to A, but instead a custom list. And you can see that, of course, Microsoft already knows uh, January, February, March, April, May. So we can select those months of the year here in the custom lists and then click OK. Click OK. And you can see that it sorts this into perfect January, February, March order instead of alphabetical order the way that you were seeing it previously.